I have an Act of Kindness box to open up. Now, I was chatting to my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Jason from Not Suitable For Mum. Very peculiar. Bizarre. And much like I did a few months ago, he is cutting down on his Funko Pop collections, uh, trying to make some space so he can concentrate on specific lines that he's interested in and getting rid of some of the ones that he doesn't want in his collection. He put a picture up and said, anyone interested in these? And there was two. I said, look, I'm interested in these two, but right now I'm kind of concentrating on other things and trying to get other lines completed. Uh, I said, do you want to have a look at my pop trade list, see if there's any want, and we can do a pop swap maybe. Uh, he looked at my list, he said, look, there's none there that he's collecting, but he wants to send these out to me anyway. He doesn't want anything for them. He's just making space and is an act of kindness. So I've got two Funko Pops to unbox. Let's get on with the unboxing. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven, here with an amazing random act of kindness from Jason from Not Suitable For Mum. Links to his channel in the description down below, go check him out. He is definitely not suitable for mum, there is a lot of swearing on his channel especially if you watch his gaming videos. <laughs> his gaming videos is just him playing games pretty poorly whilst swearing and blaming everything except himself. <laughs> uh, that being said, I watched one recently and he played uh, Cent Centipede. Cent I think it's Centipede. And he did not too bad at it. He did pretty good at it. I was surprised. But let me get the Dragon Sword, crack this open and show you what he sent me. Dude, you put so much tape on this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a note. There's a note on top. So let's read the note. Uh, <laughs> of course, there's a note from Jason. There's going to be swearing in the note, isn't there? Hi, Glenn. Yes, tis I, the short ass. It doesn't. Let's, let's end it there. No. <laughs> yes, tis I, the short ass hobbit with the pops. I promise you. Hope you enjoy them and they take pride of place in your collection. Thanks as always, Jason at Not Suitable for Mum or NSFM. Thanks, Jace. I absolutely appreciate the note. I love that. Uh, they definitely take pride of place. I'm so happy with both of these. And I've got a Not Suitable for Mum sticker. Yeah. It's stuck inside the pop. That's really bizarre. I got it. There is his channel logo. I really like his logo. I like the design of that. The NSFM. Not so with mum. Oh, thanks, Jace. That's going to go on my desk down here. Along with the other one I have. <laughs> I now have two. So I might stick one somewhere. I've kept uh, all my stickers. I've got like a few stickers down there on my desk. Uh, let me show you these pops. Packaged well. Bubble wrap all around them. The first pop. And uh, this is... It's really, really, really bad pop protector. I don't know what, what this pop protector is, <laughs> but look at this pop protector. So it's like falling apart the side. This is where the sticker was stuck. There's like glue on there. That's really strange. But the pop in question is Kylo Ren from Star Wars. Let me take it out of this so you can see it better anyway. Right, throw that. Pretty poor protector down there. <laughs> uh, Star Wars 105 Kylo Ren. I absolutely love this. Kylo is a huge, huge, huge character that I love. I love this character so much. I'm just looking at the base. Oh, wow. I really like the base pop as well. Uh, there's the back of the box. Lots of ones in the range. I really like his pose in this. And I like his base. In fact, let's get this pop out of the box for a closer look. 
here he is out of the box I decided to go down to the tabletop cam just so we can get a better view uh, being Star Wars is a bobbly head bobbly 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 but look at the detail on this suit he's wearing this outfit absolutely amazing some little holes in it where it's torn or something the this is the base format it's a snowy base so you can kind of tell this must have been from the force awakens i'm assuming uh when he was at the end and he was fighting ray uh, just look at the detail on his clothing i'm really really impressed with this this is my first kylo ren that has, is unmasked I have the 10 inch Kylo Ren and now I have this one. I like I say I love Kylo Ren. I don't know why I haven't got so many more of them. Probably because there is so many Star Wars pops. <laughs> it's gonna take me a long time to get them all. But what an absolutely phenomenal pop. Let's go back to the main cam though. Absolutely love that pop. I'm so over the moon with it. And I've got another not super for mum sticker. Two of them. Was that on purpose, Chase? Or did you accidentally give it? Oh, great. Uh, oh, I don't know where to put them now. I really, really don't know where to put these. Um, I like it. I don't, I don't want to put it somewhere and have it wasted. I need to put it somewhere that's going to be kept. Um, I'll keep it with the others for now. Uh, then the second pop in question. I'm really excited for this. It's the first one in this range for me. It is The Lost Boys, number 613, Michael Emerson really really excited for this I'll get, once again I'll go down to the tabletop view so we get a closer look at this here he is oh huge fan of Lost Boys uh, really happy to get his pop let me show you the box first of all the artwork on the side the rest of the range on the back here I'd love to get the Frog Brothers oh, I, in fact I want to get all of these anyway David is probably the one I'm going to look for next um, and then the Frog Brothers followed by Sam or maybe I should get David and Sam and then the Frog Brothers I don't know I really don't know uh, a little bit more artwork on the side here the artwork on top of the box boring blurb on the bottom and now to release him from his cardboard prison here he is out of his box what an amazing pop I love the detail on this pop uh, I love the bottle of uh, wine that he's holding <laughs> uh, look at the detail on the hair Funko Pop do a phenomenal job of hair uh, and this is no exception I really really like this the, not much detail on the body itself it's fairly simple but here's a fairly simple character the hair is phenomenal on this and uh, there's his big earring on that side a little bit plain earring actually I feel like there should have been a bit more detail on that but I'm so so happy to receive this pop add it to my collection let's go back to the main cam I should mention as well Michael came in a pop protector as well uh, a much sturdier pop protector than the last one I'm not too sure what happens oh that must be like an older pop protector the other one that he was in um, I don't know if I can reuse it or not because the glues kind of fell apart on one side of it uh, I may be able to use it when I'm shipping when I'm shipping the pops to people I'm not too sure it's, very, it's a very flimsy pop check that other one but we're here to talk about the pops I love those pops I'm so so happy to have them in my collection uh, huge fan of the Lost Boys and I know my fiance is a huge fan of Lost Boys as well. When she sees this fucking pop, she's going to be really excited as well. Um, Jason, once again, thank you so much. These pops have found a loving home where they will stay safe and secure. I'm going to end the video here. Go check out Jason, not so for mum, especially his gaming videos. <laughs> They're possibly my favourite videos. That and the food test. He, he used to do a lot of uh, random, like, food combinations <laughs> it made me laugh every time but i'm gonna hear guys question of the day before i go which out of these two pops is your favorite it's a tough one it's a really tough one because Ky kylo was probably my favorite character from the new star wars um but that being said i am a huge fan of lost boys and even i can't decide between the two of them i would probably have to say kylo because 
and I, I like the character Kylo more. But I love both these pops. Leave the question up to you. Go check out Jason. I'm going to end it here. I'm the Geeky Even. As always, much love. Until next time, stay awesome.